Yo, 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 what's up, y'all? What's good in the hood? <laughs> yo, what's up, y'all? It's the Crusader here. Motherfucking gotta crack a beer. I got one beer left, I believe. It's the Crusader here. Gotta crack a beer. With some more striking technique teaching to all you little punks out there. Today's part three. And part three is going to be the motherfucking hype keto side kick technique. You can call this the hype keto flying side kick technique. I don't even know if this is hype keto or if it's like kung fu or gung fu or bruce lee shit whatever i believe though that this is actually originated from hype keto so i'm calling it the hype keto sidekick technique okay so basically <laughs> the way that you got to pull this motherfucking move off is is it's not easy it's actually very hard. It took me like many years. I could do like the flying spinning back kick before I could do this kick, which was kind of weird. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, this kick is pretty sick. You got to be able to do a few things to be able to pull this off. Like first off, you got to be able to jump like about three or four feet in the air. You got to be able to... Um, Kind of like uh, be able to do a good side kick. A high side kick would help too. Like you want to be able to do like a side kick that'll be like to the chin, to the neck, to the chin, to the forehead, to the face, whatever. You want to be able to do a high side kick. You want to be able to do um, also you want to be able to do. The jumping and the balance and the whole deal with the uh, the balance and the uh, what's the other word? Um, doesn't really matter. But yeah, you want to have the balance. You want to have the uh, you want to have the balance high side kick you want to, be able to jump into this you would kind of want to have like a few steps forward before you get into it so it kind of works like this i'll show you with my fingers again like i did with that other one okay so yeah yeah yeah. so i don't know i'm gonna do the other hand because this, this makes more sense because this is your right foot forward that's how i roll southpaw baby and then this is your lee this is your back foot which is this is your left foot that's your right foot okay so yeah yeah, yeah. you want to step back step back a few steps and you want to kind of run 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 and then you kind of jump you jump up with your left leg boom jump up with your left leg boom and then you kick out with your right leg boom simple as that really and then like the way bruce lee did it was use like boom 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 and he kind of went brown and pulled that left leg and curled it in i still haven't been able to figure that one out fully yet but kind of getting there so anyway show you how show you how it looks if i can do this right okay hold on Show you how this looks so I can do this shit right. Huh. 
So the key to this one is to have like a bit of a running start. Jump, jump, and then set the So that was pretty neat. But you gotta keep on doing it. It's all about like the swiftness to it. Swiftness to it. So you wanna be like swift at it. <coughs> through my window here. That's kind of the gist of it. The higher you jump, the better it works. So just want to make it jump super high. Kind of like that while you're moving. See, I ain't got it down right now. I need more room. Not much room here to do this right now. That's kind of the gist of it. So basically the gist of it. I'll try it the other way, so I, I'm just kind of worried about kicking through my window here, so I'll try it the other way, see if that works a little better. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna jump, jump, jump. Jump three feet. Feels as good as it's gonna get right now. Not bad though, not bad. Not too pissed about that. Not too pissed about that. Yeah. Anyway, that's the gist of it. I need to practice on it, but that's kind of the gist of it. Mm. One move that's pretty cool that I'm just gonna bring up is from this movie called um, Blood Fight. There was this little kid, this little, like, I don't know, Asian kid, maybe he was Japanese, I don't know. But his, the teacher guy, his master, taught him this crazy kick where he jumped up and, like, freaking stomped down. He jumped up, went, <sighs> jumped up super high, like, freaking five feet in there. Jumped up, stomped down right on his opponent's forehead. Like you can imagine. He jumped up and then landed like a crazy kick, like right on his opponent's forehead, just like bam. That's just some crazy powerful shit. That's what I'm working on doing someday soon. <laughs> that's the flying stomp machine kick. No, that's the flying stomp kick. And that kick is just ridiculous. But it doesn't matter. You can have that one move and not have a whole bunch of other moves. And then you could get killed by Bolo Young. And that's kind of what happened in the movie. Spoiler alert. But yeah, anyway. That's my part three of the striking teaching. <laughs> have a nice day, y'all.